Well, as we just heard, the trip to Iraq was deeply meaningful for the Holy Father and those from the Vatican who accompanied him. So how is it received in Iraq? Joining us now is Alejandro Bermudez, executive director of the CNA Aussie Group. He joins us now from Iraq, where he was on the ground for the Holy Father's trip, and he remains in that country right now. Alejandro, always so good to see you. So we've heard the reaction uh, of the trip from the Vatican. How was it received in Iraq from your perspective? Is especially here where I am in, in Tracy, which is in uh, northern Iraq, in what is known as uh, Kurdistan, in Erbil, where the mass take place uh, on Sunday, uh, everybody is in cloud, uh, in cloud nine. I mean, people are still talking about it. The, the uh, tremendous number of Christian young kids that attended the mass, including, you know, 250, 250 volunteers are still pinching themselves. It's just incredible to be here. They can't believe that the Pope came to this place. That is so wonderful to hear. Um, are there any indications that this trip will have a lasting impact, especially on interreligious dialogue there? Well, in interreligious dialogue, is a little bit hard to tell, but at least here in Erbil, in the area of the Kurdistan, which is relatively autonomous and is a, one of the most uh, secure and peaceful areas in, uh, in Iraq, uh, the authorities of this uh, uh, region are very aware that the visit of the Holy Father put them in the map. So there is a real interest to show that at least this region is extremely tolerant to Christians. So I think that is a step forward. Now, from the side of, uh, of Christians, of Chaldean Christians, or our you know, fellow Catholics of Eastern Rite, um, the, the, the tremendous energy that has been created for them to remain in this place rather than leave it to keep building institutions like the Catholic hospital, the Catholic university that is being built here has just uh, received a tremendous uh, boost. That's so great to hear. Um, so exactly, you know, from your perspective, how do you see uh, the state of Christians in Iraq right, right now? I do understand there's a very young population there. Yes, is 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 incredible. During the mass, Tracy, there were 10,000 10, people, and you felt almost like if you were in a World Youth Day or in a youth rally. You know, is there is a lot of hope in terms of the number of the growing Christian population, and and also how low the the age is. You know how young they are. So, and the fact that the Pope came have inspired many of those young Christians that were asking themselves if they can continue living here or leave, like, you know, 80% of them have done already. That mentality has changed. And I am not sure that some places like Mosul, for example, eh, where the Pope went and that was completely destroyed by ISIS, will eh, see the population come back. But other cities like Erbil, where the Catholic population has grown, I think it is very promising after the Pope's visit. It has been a life changer. Well, Alejandro, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Alejandro Bermudez, Executive Director of the CNA Aussie Group. Thank you again. Thank you, Tracy.